Okay, so my last video I showed you how to run the AND engine examples in the emulator in Eclipse. Now, if you want to use some of the examples in your own project, this is how you do it. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to choose Android 2.2. I'm going to go to my main activity, open it up, and then I'm going to go to the end engine examples and pick one. So I'm going to choose the box 2D example, which is the physics example. And I'm just going to highlight all of it, control C to copy, highlight all of my project, paste it in. You're going to see a whole bunch of errors, but we'll get rid of those pretty soon. First off, the package, we have to rename it to the package that we chose, the package name that we chose a moment ago. And another quick thing we need to do is the main class name to change it to the name of our main activity file, which is the name up here. And it needs to extend base game activity. And for now, I'm just going to save this and we need to link the proper extension files to our project so I'm going to right click on our project click build path and then choose link source browse and in my Eclipse workspace I'm going to choose the end engine extension I have to find the source folder within it and I have to name this a different name it can be any name you want And then I, because this is a box 2D example I'm working with, I need to link the box 2D extension to my project as well. And uh, the source folder within that, and rename it again to whatever you want. And now in our main activity, we can press control shift O and that gets rid of almost all the errors um, there's just still a few more errors down below these are the original names of the class in the example we have to rename these in this particular example we have to rename these the same as our activity which is again the name up here and that's gotten rid of all the errors in our project. I'm going to click Save. And you can see there's no more errors. Now because this is a box 2D project we do need to take an extra step of going into the and engine examples and grabbing the libs folder. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into my project. Now the other thing I know that this specific example has some image files <coughs> that I need to grab these image files right here I need to grab those otherwise the project will uh, have a forced close when I try to run it so first in my project in my assets folder I have to create a subfolder called GFX and I have to find these image files in the AND engine examples. So I'll go to the assets of the AND engine examples in the GFX folder and find these file names. Copy them and then go back to my project and paste them in my GFX folder. And now I'm good to go. I can try to launch my project. So I'm going to go run as Android application. And there's the box 2D example as part of my project. So that's how you import 
one of the end engine examples in your project and then you can modify it to suit your needs. Now if you want to try one of the other samples in, in, in the end engine examples that require multiple files, uh, here's how you do that. So for example I'm going to grab the physics revolute join example and I see that it extends the base physics join example so I have to grab that file as well so here's the base physics join example so now I have both of those files I don't need this one anymore so I'm going to close that so I have these two files that I need and so I will highlight all of the physics revolute join example copy it go back to my main activity, highlight everything, paste and again there's errors but we'll get rid of those again the first thing I have to do is to rename the package to the one that I specified earlier and rename the main class name to the name that appears up here and you see that it extends base physics join example so I'm going to have to create one more activity uh, file that will represent the base physics join example so I'm just going to save this for the moment and I'm just going to make a copy of my activity file and I'll just name it 5B so I'm going to open up that new activity file and I need to make it reflect the contents of the base physics join example so I'll go to the base physics join example highlight everything, control C to copy and highlight everything in this new activity file I have paste and again change the package name and again change the main class name to be the name that's up there whenever it says base example we change that to base game activity and I can save this at this point I'll hit control shift O that gets rid of all the errors in here so I'll just resave it again so now we have this new activity, my project 5B activity, which represents the base physics run example. So that means we can go to, into our first activity file, and where it says base physics run example, we can give it this name of our extra activity. And as you can see, all the errors just went away by doing that. So I'm going to hit save, and I can close all of these files you can see that my project has no errors anywhere in it we already have all the image files we need and we have already previously linked the extensions that we needed so at this point I can run this project and see how it goes but actually before I do so it's important to note that I have two activity files and I need to know which one is going to be launched and I know that I want my project 5 activity to be launched so just to verify I'm going to go into the Android manifest and I see that correctly that my project 5 activity is going to be launched now if you have a project with lots of files you want to be aware of which of those files is going to be launched uh, when you launch it to the emulator this looks fine right now so I'm gonna right click on my project and launch it to the emulator and here you can see it's the Revolut join example as part of my project. So that's how you can use some of the end engine examples in your projects and then modify them as needed.